Abraham's Children is a, a journey. It's a, um, a time machine to go back to the period of the biblical Israelites, the found of the three great religions. It's a journey through biblical history, uh, Jewish identity, even modern issues about who we are, and it's all through the prism of DNA. Uh, we are in a, um, an age where the human genome has given us incredible access to understanding um, everything from human behavior, um, intelligence, but also provides a, a roadmap um, to the history of our ancestors. And in Western culture, uh, we all have Israelite ancestry. And this book is a story of discovery of uh, people searching for their identities, using DNA as, as the method of doing that. And this really um, is something that, that uh, resonates in Jews, in Christians. Um, it does address the age-old uh, Jewish question, who is a Jew? But it's really a question for all of us because this is a shared legacy of, of everyone today. I had written a previous um, book, Taboo, Why Black Athletes Dominate Sports and Why We're Afraid to Talk About It, a controversial book. But it dealt with the issue of uh, race, um, genes, but in that case it was uh, applied to sports. I went into some of my early interviews wearing flak jackets, but I'll tell you, um, it opened up a, a very sophisticated dialogue on the issue of human differences. There's been some amazingly fascinating research um, tracing back the ancestry of what are called the Jewish Kohanim. Uh, people may not know this, many people, even some Jews don't recognize this, but there's a priesthood in Judaism. Uh, Jews actually uh, had a priestly uh, class when the uh, temple was in existence in Israel, uh, but everyone who has the name Cohen, Cohen means priest, they've actually done DNA research that finds out there is a genetic marker that is shared by almost all of these people with this last name, all of these people with an oral tradition of being a Kohenim that goes back to the time of Aaron. Aaron was the first priest in the Bible. And it doesn't necessarily mean that Aaron actually existed, but it does mean that the Jewish priesthood started around the time that Aaron would have lived, the lost tribes, we can, through DNA research, find out whether a African tribe, the Lemba of Southern Africa, are Jewish by ancestry. We've actually done testing of a subset of the Lemba tribe, the Buba, who are the priests of the Lemba tribe, and they, in fact, carry at a rate higher than, um, than Jews in the United States and Israel the mutation for the Kohanim. These are clearly descendants of Semites, no question, almost certainly descendants of Israelites, Jews, uh, from the first century who came down by boat from Yemen, settled in uh, what is now Zimbabwe, probably built the greatest architectural marvel in Africa, the Great Zimbabwe, creating a great racial controversy because that had always been considered a purely African architectural success story, the only one in Africa. It now appears to have been built by descendants of Jews. Again, quite a racial issue in some, in some corners. We all share a legacy that goes back to the time of Abraham. And in a fascinating way, DNA offers a prism, a way to transport ourselves back to um, everything from creation to the time of Abraham, to Moses, the story of the lost tribes, and begin to understand how this legacy unfolded, how our shared ancestry um, shows up in our genes and what impact does it have in our lives today.